guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of the sims 4 scenario love after breakup so i first of all i mean obviously <laughs> um i did a little alpha makeover to the home a little bit just a little bit i still wanted it to look a little bit cheap so you know we have this like makeshift bookshelf and i thought this couch looked like really thrifted so i thought that kind of fit the vibes and just a little bit in the bedroom oh in the bathroom i love this i feel like that looks good but still like kind of cheap yeah after editing the footage of the first part i was thinking about it and i just realized i feel like this the scenario that's going to end up happening here is that callie is best friends with someone that they've broken up with which would be dominic um as you can see their relationship is really really bad so i'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen but obviously we don't know um we'll see so right now it's just really tough and i think they need to take a break from each other he's up really early and he's irritated because he has to sleep on the couch and that's really uncomfortable so he woke up really early whereas she's feeling really rested so yeah i'm thinking what we're gonna do is get kelly out of the house take her out on the town and just see who she meets not looking for anything just kind of talking to people meeting people and just really she needs to get out of the house and away from dominic because he makes her life very difficult <laughs> oh can we let's see i can't remember if they already put this in the game like i said it's been a very long time since i last played the sims 4 because i've been playing the sims 3 but all these updates are so interesting but i wanted to see is there that ordering ordering food thing order a delivery Oh yeah, let's see. The food delivery. I want to see if that works because if you guys have been watching me for a little bit when this first came out with Cottage Living, I tried it and it didn't work. So she does love to cook, but I think she just wants to hurry up and get out of the house. So I think she's going to go ahead and order a Poke Bowl. And let's see if it comes because it might not. <laughs> okay, so it claims that it'll be here soon. So let's see how true that is he's so mad okay so he's gonna go ahead and sleep now that she's gonna be leaving and isn't using the bed it is really rainy today which is really unfortunate for our big day out but hopefully it ends up okay all right so the meal delivery is here let's see let's accept it i guess it could have been a problem with my mods as well um i haven't updated my mods since everything happened so yeah i don't even have anything <laughs> there's no ui cheats no mc command center yeah i need to get that Okay, so claim she has her food. Okay, so she got her food. Great. So I'm glad we can actually explore that now. So, oh, right. So I actually had her meet a couple of the neighbors, the more like iconic ones, like the goth family, um, you know, her regular neighbors, and also the pancakes because, um, like I talked about when I first started this, the thing that made me want to play is this whole neighbor story progression update. Um, so I wanted her to meet some people and right now she's actually getting along with Eliza very well. I think it's because they both kind of, you know, are having relationship problems. So she's actually surprisingly getting along with Eliza really well. So I went ahead and gave her a makeover and I think they're going to be really good friends. So maybe we should go hang out with her and kind of talk about it. I mean, they don't, Eliza wants to stay with Bob, but obviously it's not going that well. So I don't know. I feel like they get along really well. So let's see. I kind of want her to go out and do something a little bit more fun. Since it's so rainy, maybe we'll go over to Oasis Springs and I guess maybe go to this lounge and we'll take Eliza with us. I don't know if I explained this actually in the first part. I don't remember what was said, but basically I think this is going to be, I don't know where I'm taking this. I'm just going to talk to Eliza a little bit, but I think this is basically going to be a little mini lp um i'm wondering i think i want to try like a bunch of the scenarios and i'm wondering i don't know if i want to do a different sim every time or if i actually would like to um keep keep cali keep this family and just keep going with all the different scenarios and add them into this each time so it's still her but you know all these different problems in life so let me know what you think I should do. Should we do every time we do scenario a new sim or should we keep Callie and see how she grows through life and see what happens? Yeah, see, she gets along so well with Eliza. Ooh, let's ask Eliza to pursue their dream job. This is one of those new neighbor updates that you can do. Um, there's like more, but I don't know. Oh, discuss expanding the family. So yeah, so like you can kind of encourage people to 
have children and I think cheat and like have friends and everything. Like there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Let's hug her and let's kind of boast about family and talk about how we want to have a family and maybe we could encourage her to expand her family. Okay, so in response to the pursuing the dream job, she said, although I appreciate your interest, Callie, it's been one of those days. I'd prefer to talk about something else if you don't mind. Okay. I totally hear you, but since we're on the topic of it, why don't we ask if, you know, would a baby help? Because, I mean, clearly you have enough to s love to stay together this whole time. Oh, and she said, I'm glad you brought this up, Kelly. I've been thinking the same. Let me chat with Bob and I'll go back to you. See, she really wants it to work out because I think she really wants it to work out with her and Dominic, but whether or not that happens, you know, is a whole nother story. It takes two and right now these two are not having a good time. <laughs> Yeah, I think Eliza has the right idea. Let's head upstairs and is there nobody tending this bar? Are you kidding? <laughs> well, I was going to say let's order a drink, but apparently nobody is here. Why don't we get her to maybe break out of her comfort zone and maybe come up here and start telling some jokes and just having a good time? Ooh, she seems to be enjoying the song. Does she like retro music? Yeah, sure. And let me know if you guys want me to leave this tab open so you can always see the options or if it's annoying and you want to close like this. <laughs> so she seems to be doing a really good job doing this whole comedy show. I'm really glad that she's getting along. Oh, look, Eliza's thinking about babies. I think she's helping it a lot. I think she's really, I think she's helping their relationship and I hope they do. And hopefully maybe Eliza can help her and Dominic. Who knows? Doesn't look like there's any young men here tonight. There is this bartender, but he's an adult and we're only a young adult. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that, I hope that it goes well. I mean, who knows, maybe Bob won't like it and then they'll get grumpy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and see if we can order drinks for us. And let's just order a nice wine, a nice white wine. And maybe we can go ahead and meet Katrina, why not? Oh, <laughs> there's this old man talking to us. He's like, girl, I'll treat you right. <laughs> you don't need him. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of old people here tonight. Can we get our drinks? This is taking literally a lifetime. Well, we got ours. I don't know if Eliza took hers or if she left, but I think they had a really good time and she's feeling a lot happier now. Um, she didn't like her drink, I guess, but she's feeling so much happier. So let's go ahead and have her head home now that she's feeling a lot better. I was hoping to meet someone here, but it doesn't really look like there is anyone. She has met, well, Mortimer, but I don't know. She has met Travis. I feel like it's weird if they both end up talking to the neighbors. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's because I feel like he, um, Dominic, is kind of talking to Summer and Liberty. I don't know what's going on there. I did give Summer a mini makeover. I haven't gotten to the others yet, but don't worry. Like, by next part, we'll go ahead and have the BFF household all made up, made over, and it'll be great. Okay, so she gets home. It is 7 p.m., and here he is on the couch. <laughs> He's having a good time apparently. Let's see if they still have a good time when she's home. So I'm gonna have her come apologize, try to make up with him again, see how it goes. She's feeling really sad now. She's just feeling so hurt. Like just seeing him again just brings up a lot of bad feelings. I'm gonna ask for advice on how he's handling it so well. Oof. And he, okay, so Liberty just called him. This must be part of the new neighbor update. So she says, it's good to hear your voice. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Nancy Landgrab a little better. They seem like good company. Oh, right, because he met her. So, hmm. Yeah, let's say of course. So he's just straight up ignoring her. They now despise each other. Um, but he's just straight up ignoring her to go talk to Liberty. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and have him talk to her. And I think she's feeling really upset about it now. And she probably just wants to feel better. So I think, you know, she came home and she's irritated because she, well, I wanted her to go visit them, but that's not happening. So I guess she's just going to go cry it out. It is not going well with them living together, but they have literally no choice right now. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to do about how sad they are. See if she can call up Travis. See if he has any advice for her. And we'll have her text him. See, he doesn't even care. He's, he's smiling. He's having a grand old time while she's literally over here crying. <sighs> See, like, you know, they could have no relationship after this, but I really don't want that. I feel like it would just be so nice for them to be friends afterwards. But I mean, obviously, it's going to take some time, honestly. It's going to take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and have her. Hmm, I'm going to go ahead and have her make some grilled cheese and maybe we'll invite some people over. Let's like invite Travis and let's invite Eliza and see if she has talked to Bob yet. And, you know, just see if they want to talk. 
So since Travis is just right next door, he came over right away. And Dominic is sleeping through this, so hopefully that will cease any problems. Oh look, she's going straight out here to talk to him. Let's see if we can call everyone to meal. Okay, so just talk a little bit about the food. Do you have a bad relationship with? Oh, with Brandy Sanders. I don't even know who that is. And I also want to get to know Travis a little bit more because he's right next door and you know, they're getting along a bit. Eliza's neat. Is there anything we can do with him? Okay, so it looks like you actually have to have a decent relationship with them before you can encourage them to do these things. And she actually, oh, so for this one, she doesn't even know his career. Well, let's ask. Oh, they just got a sentiment. Ooh, okay. And Travis is self-assured. Let's see, okay. So she just got happy memories. She's feeling close to him. Okay, so he's a geek, outgoing, and self-assured. Oh, geez. Okay, they're getting along quite a bit. Oh, and she has really, that's so sweet. They're having a good time, okay. Rainy day entertain. Okay, well, <laughs> let's talk to him a bit let's Ooh, you know what else we should bring up let's talk about family and see how he feels about them they're getting along very well actually they almost are as close as her and eliza who have been spending a lot of time together recently so wow i mean i'm really surprised i didn't expect her to actually like get along with him uh to this extent at all Let's ask about his taste in music. And why don't we also maybe ask about his hobbies and skills? He dislikes lullaby radio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he likes to cook. So does she. Okay, wow. See, they're getting along really well, but I'm not sure they're ready for anything more than that. I mean, she's still upset about the Dominic thing. She doesn't even know if they're going to get back together or not. So I don't want to rush anything. And it seems like Eliza really likes him too. So that's good. Oh, well, they're getting along so well. Let's see how that changes. And Dominic comes out here. Okay. How can Dominic move on when he still has to see the simp who broke up with him and brings heart? So he is feeling, I think, jealous that she's over here talking to Travis. She shouldn't, but you know. Let's go ahead and ask Travis to pursue his dream job. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about it. Okay, so neither people liked that conversation. That's weird. Ooh, what's he doing? Okay, he came out here to chat. Is this gonna help? Okay, what just happened? He's going outside. See what happened with her. Okay, so it says Callie wants to blame someone for the agony they put her through. Maybe blame herself for giving them that power. Yeah, so she is feeling upset now um, because of his jealousy. So I think I think she's she's just really angry. And I think she just wants to, you know, she already kind of likes him. And he's already treating her a lot better than Dominic currently does. So I think she just wants to kind of talk a little bit with Travis. Nothing too serious, but just kind of flirt a little bit. Because she's just feeling really angry. <laughs> she's so mad. And they're getting along. Well, they're getting along very well. So I don't want this to go too far. Um, but they definitely have something going, which is great. It looks like Dominic doesn't even care. Okay. Well, meanwhile, she's like really angry at him. <laughs> but okay. I mean, like I said, Dominic is just, he, he likes other people anyway. So I think he's going to text Summer. He's excited to be single. So I think he also is just like wanting to talk to other people and stuff. So I don't know. So Kelly went ahead and went to bed. I think Dominic's going to go ahead and he's going to eat that grilled cheese because he's about to not have her cooking for much longer. <laughs> And I think in the morning, actually, because he just got so irritated with that. He's like, oh, like you're talking to other people, then fine. And I will, since I want to anyway. Like, I mean, he wants to anyway. And um, he's excited to be single again. So I think he wants to go ahead and go take advantage of that. And he's probably going to go talk to Summer today. And we'll see how that goes. And obviously them living in the same house makes it so very difficult, this whole situation really, um, which totally sucks. And I wish that Summer and Travis were not living together as roommates because I feel like it makes it weird if they both like date neighbors. But I mean, I do not think that he's like even looking for anything serious. Like definitely not. Like after being in a relationship that was serious for a bit with Callie and you know, she wants to have kids and everything and he does not, <laughs> he does not want that. So he's still, you know, he's got a lot of plans in life and it's just, he does not want to sit there and settle down. He wants to go out, he wants to move. And yeah, just, have more adventures in his life than he currently is having so it will definitely not cut it so let's see if summer is able to come over yet okay she said she's gonna come over 
Oh god, okay. So I only gave her an everyday outfit right before we started. I'm gonna go ahead and do more. But she looks exactly like the type of girl that he just wants to hang out with a little bit right now. And Callie is gonna go ahead and wake up. Make herself some breakfast. Oh yeah, so Summer's already feeling flirty. Already. <laughs> she showed up here feeling flirty, so I think we can already see where this is gonna go right now. Yeah, okay. It seems like Dominic is a little bit of a jerk in general, like just the way he's treating Callie and everything, like just because she wanted kids. Like, I don't know. And then I know she was talking to Travis last night, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> like it's totally, you know, he's kind of the one who wants to be with other people. So I feel like it just makes it very, very much worse. Okay, so they already went in for their kiss. They're already getting along a little too well, you know? So. <laughs> I'm really curious what Callie would think about this right now, but I feel like he's just like, well, I mean, we're not together, so it's not a big deal, right? <laughs> Basically. So I'm gonna have him go ahead and come inside because it's raining, and we'll have Callie finish up her breakfast. And it is, you know, bright and early, and they're already hanging out. And yeah, she's, see, she's feeling, she is feeling angry really really angry about this yeah she's feeling angry already it's looking like they just are starting to like actually hate each other but i would like it to go back to just a friendship because i feel like they're just hurt right now yeah she's she's straight up going outside to kick this trash can <laughs> and now she's upset about it because it's dirty oh my god she did it again <laughs> okay yeah she is furious right now but they share the same house and there's not much to be done about it unfortunately yeah, so he's he's feeling happier, but he's also still mad. So she's going to go ahead and go home. Like I said, he does not want a relationship whatsoever. So, oh, and now Travis wants to come over. <laughs> Great. Okay. These people. Maybe, you know, she can kind of express that she's kind of having a hard time and maybe see if Travis wants to go hang out somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere, anywhere but here, really. You know, let's see if Travis wants to go to the museum. He wants to see what he likes to do because Dominic would have taken her to a bar or something every single time. So, you know, as much as she likes that and has a good time and everything, it might be a little bit nice to just be able to hang out at a museum. See if he wants something like that, you know, more just settle down, basically. Compliment his outfit and then go ahead and... Ooh, maybe let's look at these cute little... Oh, we can view this dog together. I'll be like, oh, you know, I kind of want a dog. I would love to settle down with someone and get a dog and have a baby. <laughs> Just kind of talk about it and see what he thinks. Does he like pets? He's feeling really playful, so I think he's having a good time here. They're just going to talk a bit. I don't want them to move it too, too quickly. Um, but there's definitely something going on with them. They have a really good time together, and he likes cooking, she likes cooking. He just seems a lot more serious of a guy overall. When Katrina just happens to be here. Okay. There's actually so many people here. Ooh, Angela. This is Angela Plaza. I feel like they'd get along really well, too. She actually- Kelly gets along with a lot of people. She gets along with everyone, except for Dominic, apparently. He's feeling really flirty still. See, he's just feeling angry now too, but he is also, you know, he just slept with someone else. Whereas Callie is taking it really slow and she doesn't even know what's going on. So, you know, there's definitely feelings there, but she also doesn't know if she and Dominic are gonna get back together, although it doesn't look like it so far. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this part off here. So for next part, I don't know, maybe she and Travis will get a little bit closer. Maybe she and Dominic will get a little bit closer. Who knows? I have no idea. Let me know what you think is gonna happen in the next part down below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next episode. Bye guys.